Hi, this is Kat Running Ock. I want to return to our Answering Your Callings lessons. So this is part, well, part four, part three, I believe it's a meditation we did. Hmm. Whatever it says in the description down below, trust that. There are a couple clips you might want to listen to if you haven't already on Answering Your Callings. Everyone has a calling. Louise Hay says, your longing is your calling. We have small callings. We have large callings. Every day, learn to listen to what is in your heart and in your soul that you're longing to do. The little callings lead you to the big callings. When you learn to take time each day to listen to your guides, meditate, pray, check within check in with God's source, the divine, you know what it is that's calling you. Not everyone knows what the big thing is that they're here to do. If you want to work with me, hopefully these teachings will help you get there to where you do know what your purpose is. But a lot of people are working on a daily basis of, of knowing what their calling is in this moment. What you need to do today, not what the outer world says you need to do today, what your heart says you need to do today for yourself. And those little inner callings, if you follow them, you will find at the end of your life that you answered the big calling and why you came in this lifetime. You don't have to know the big picture. God knows the big picture. Great Spirit is with you, guiding you, and knows what you agreed to do in this lifetime. What positive difference you can make and how to get you there. And if you choose to surrender and not worry about knowing the big picture, Great. Now let's work on the day-to-day -day truth of what is calling you. Take a minute right now. And what would you love to do today? What would you love to experience? If you had all the time and all the money, all, all those things are taken care of for you, just imagine that for a minute. You don't have to worry about taking care of anybody else, just for a minute. What is your heart longing to do? Some of you, your heart wants a vacation. So maybe you could do a little bit of nothing for an hour or two. Just relax. Okay? Crawl in bed with a magazine or a book. And totally, totally kick back. And do nothing. Take a mini vacation. You can also take that vacation in your mind and do a deep meditation, which I'll, I'll bring in a vacation meditation for you shortly. And that can do a world of good for you. You could plan that vacation in the physical. Go online, start researching. For those old-fashioned folks, go down to AAA and get some maps and, and brochures. Some of you, your heart wants to do something. It wants to call someone. It wants to reach out. It wants to connect with someone. You're longing for connection, community. Again, listen to your heart. If you feel lonely, it's a sign you need connection. And there are a lot of ways you can go out and connect with people. You can volunteer, go and meet up, go to your local church, synagogue, spiritual center, take a class, connect. Some of you are feeling like you really need to exercise. You want to spend time outdoors and go for a walk. All of these activities may seem insignificant, right now, but they are very important. It's very important to listen to those callings. They are the little steps that, that are going to get you 
to the best place possible in this lifetime where you are in your highest vibration, enjoying your life, and making the positive difference that you came to make. Every day, take time to be still and listen and answer a daily calling, a mini calling. They add up. They add up. And they are all there, all those mini callings, their spirits saying, this is the next step, this is the next step, this is the next step. It's not always so good for you to know what the big picture is, because you may become overwhelmed. And those who are very intuitive and they know what the calling is on their life, they do become intimidated by it and stop and hold back. They'll feel afraid. So then you got to say, okay, what is that sloppy step? Which I talked about before, that sloppy first step I need to make to answer the bigger calling on my life. Okay, one thing leads to another, but one foot in front of the other. Answer whatever mini calling you have in your heart right now. And we will be with you in spirit, supporting you on this journey of answering your calling. I love you. Aho. Uh -huh.